Hey guys, so it is me right now. I'm going to be filming a um, get ready with me and stuff. I'm actually super in a rush right now because I thought that my camera was already charged and I guess it was not so I had to wait for the charge. But yeah, so I'm going to work. I feel like I, anytime I film I'm always going to work. But I got these cute ears. Put my hair back. I'm still in a rush right now but I still wanted to film just because I've been like having the urge to film. But I'm already like toned my face with my Dickinson's primer. This is like my holy grail toner. Toner, no primer. And Kiehl's moisturizer. Um, I've been using this recently. It's been about like two weeks. And what I do notice about it is it does really hydrate the skin. Um like you're like hours later your face you could feel it and you still feel like you just put on moisturizer you know what i mean like it still feels very supple and just smooth so i do like that about it it is really pricey though um so i don't know like i probably get that much to keep on purchasing it but we'll see the eye cream that i've been using been has been the clinique pep start but um recently since when i got the kios thing they also gave me they also gave me a little sample of some eye creams and I've been using this one. The creamy eye treatment with avocado and I really really like this one. I feel like I probably will purchase like this one I really really do like. I feel like it just like hydrates and even like I've been kind of not getting good sleep. And it looked like you know what I mean like my eyes look very hydrated very um just healthy and... Um, I got some new things yesterday on Morphe. I got some new brushes. I got the Morphe sponge. And then I also got the setting spray. And I just, I saw this in line and I was like, I kind of want it. It's a towel, but I don't even have time to go wet it right now. But it's basically like it removes makeup. So, I don't know. I'll let you guys know how that works. But I'm going to be priming my skin. My primer is the Stack of Moisturizing Under Makeup Primer. By Laura Geller, I love this stuff so much. Like, this is honestly like the best primer I've yet used. It does really help with the longevity of your makeup. It really does moisturize. And um, I feel like it does kind of blur out your face a little bit. This is the one I mentioned in my vlog that the lady recommended me. And I'm so glad that I, like, listened to her. And I'm so glad she freaking recommended me. Because I would have never, like, I've never heard anyone talk about this or nothing. So I would have never, like, found it on my own. But. So I'm glad I did. So then for foundation, I'm going to be. Where's my hair on? I've actually been super stressed, you guys, because of this school problem. Like, hold on. I'll talk more into, about it right now. My nails look so ratchet. I swear that's how you know you're stressed, at least for me, because I always have my nails. I try to always have my nails on tip top point, but I will, um, I'm going to do them today. So I use Tarte Rainforest of the Sea. This one's super light on its own, so that's why I use, I always like, have to make my foundations. This one's the Y14 um, Makeup Ever Stick. This one's pretty close to my shade, but I like to put this on the outer perimeter of my face, and the lighter one on the inner part <coughs> you have to shake shake yeah um, I'm just gonna I love how it's like a dropper it reminds me of science like biology I'm actually taking biology right now so I'm gonna use I don't know if I should use this for my foundation or okay I'm just gonna use it for baking and highlighting and then I'm just gonna use this for so yeah, I always used to do my eyebrows first and now I've been doing them like last or just kind of like before. No, yeah, I kind of been doing them last like after I do my bronzer, which is so weird, but I kind of, I don't know. I feel like it saves me time. Like I feel like I still would have been on my eyebrows. But anyways, with school, I don't know. Sorry if you guys find like school talk boring because I don't know. I feel like it could be. It's like who wants to hear about school? But anyway, so like long story short. I took a winter class, right, for winter se session. I took small group communications, and that class was so easy. Um, we only had, like, one assignment, one thing to do, which was to work with our group that we got put in the first day, and we had to make a board game. And a lot of turn in um, our paper, like, basically just a project overview about our project, um, evaluations of our group members, 
evaluation about us. Just it's all opinion based. And tell me why like I barely checked my grade. That class ended like a month ago. I checked my grade and it says that I got an F. And I was like like I thought I was seeing blurry. Um tart shape tape cat one because you are actually uh yeah. I'm gonna go over my like where my pimp like my acne marks are with the studio oh not studio fix pro long wear because by mac this one's a little bit more my skin shade so um i'm just gonna like go over with that one this one's a big brush so i was so confused you guys i was like there's no way that i freaking got an app like i did everything i was always there i was helping my group my group was chill like um so i just did not make any sense to me at all i was just like hold it like this is an error like this is wrong and um i have extra so i'm just gonna put some on my forehead the color is nc30 and i really like this shade because it's like close to my skin but it also like i could also highlight with it so i'm gonna use this spray let's see how like i mean i did test it out in the store but Okay, I'm going to use the Morphe Spun. So I was so confused and, you know, it obviously upset me because it's like I'm not going to like freaking settle for a grade that I don't deserve. And I text my group members right away because I still have our group chat and they all got A's and I'm just like, yeah, like, and they were so confused, like, why are they like, you need to email the teacher. So I emailed the teacher. He still has not responded to me. It's been like 40 hours, actually. It's going to be like three days today. And so I'm like, what do I do? So I had literally like searched online on my school's website. And I have to like talk to the Department of Terror. And then I have to go to like the dean. And this is whole process. And like I reached out to the my Department of Chair for like that building. And she has not responded to me either. And I'm just like, oh my goodness. Like, so annoying like I, like why me out of all people like why do i have to be dealing with that you know it's like so freaking annoying so i'm gonna be going in with um i forgot i wet it because with the rcma powder you cannot use a wet sponge like i don't know what it is but it will like stick to your face i've heard other people talk about that too and i'm like okay it's not just me i'm not crazy so and i was gonna use this like but i did wet it um okay i guess i'm just gonna use i'm just gonna use my my banana powder from ben nye because i want to use this sponge so what i've been doing instead of like baking because i was always baking um i kind of like this method more i just kind of like press like i put a lot on but i just press it into the skin rather than letting it sit Okay. I have to be done in my 10 minutes. I, I miss like vlogging in my car, but I like broke my car. Um, the thing that holds my phone. And I ordered one on, on eBay like already to going to be like two weeks and it still hasn't came. But when that comes, we're going to be on again. So don't worry. But when that comes, we'll be back on. Because I don't know. I love car vlogging. It reminds me of Lil Anthony. Like I feel like he created that. So, yeah, and I just feel like it leaves it looking seamless. I saw my lash extensions on, but they're kind of, this is, it's going to be four, it's going to be exactly four weeks tomorrow. I think they lasted a pretty long time. So, for my chin, I do this, like, tip for you girls that have, like, acne scarring or, like, that. Definitely bake that part of your face because I feel like it just helps, well, obviously, like, setting your face helps your makeup to last longer, but especially on those areas, like, focus it more because it definitely helps that stay in place and just kind of you know prevents it from peeking through because i used to have that problem um it would just peek through throughout the day and then i'm gonna take um my mac powder the loose powder what is it called it's called the fix mineral mineralized foundation loose it was actually my mom that i took it from her and i've like used it since but I just kind of like to put this all over the face just to kind of 
I don't know, I don't like my makeup to feel sticky. Even though these foundations don't really leave my makeup feeling like that, but just to be, you know, on the safe side. I'm excited to use the new brush that I got for my bronzer. So I'm using the MAC NC43 um, powder as my bronzer. It is a little bit darker. I've used this in my last video, I think, but I stopped using it. And then um, I started using it again recently, so... Yeah, so this is the one that I got for my bronzer. It's the G4. Y'all know that, like, I think I have talked to it about a video. That this other bronzer brush was, like, my favorite. And I've had it since I was, like, literally in middle school. If I could find it. See, it's already kind of losing its color. And um, this thing broke a long time ago. I always have to tape it. And I don't know. I'm just like, I need to get a new brush. Like, sorry, but... They're kind of similar. I don't know. I feel like I'm never going to find anything like this. Like, there's, like, I've found, like, this brush, but it's just not the same. Like, I don't know. But we'll see right now how I like it. Um. What do y'all think? So, anyways, that's my whole school drama that's going on. So, I've just been stressed out about that. And then, but I'm like, I don't know. I know it's going to be fixed. Like, I'm going to fight that. Like, there's no way to, like, I'm not going to, you know, just let that be. But. So, for blush, I'm going to go ahead and be taking my Too Faced um, Peach Beach, I think it's called. Yeah. This was, like, my favorite bronzer. I got this, like, sophomore year. It was, like, my first high-end bronzer. Or was it? I think it was our first high-end bronzer that I bought. Like, the other ones I, like, took from my mom. Like, the MAC ones. But my mom doesn't even wear blush like that. But, like, um, I know a lot of people don't like blush. And I used to be, like, so big on blush. And then I stopped as well. But, I don't know. I'm kind of, like, starting to like blush again. So, I'm just taking this one. I love peachy colors. Like, um, the MAC Mario Carrie. I always use it in my videos. So, I'm like, I mean, I use it. Um, this one's also a favorite of mine. The... Milani, not Lumino, so I know everyone uses that one. I've never tried it. I probably would love it too, but this is the Bell Belly Muso Bronze. But anyways, smile. I just feel like it kind of adds life to you. I also got um a new fan brush, and then I got a baby one for like my nose highlight. I don't know. I just wanted to just get stuff, you know. So I'm still using my Cabral. I got. I was using the Goofy pencil for a while. Um, but I don't know. I do like pomade better. I just do. I don't know. I just find it more easier for me. And I'm more precise that way. And I'm already done, you know? So how is everyone? Like, how are you guys more like blabbing about me? Um... I hope all is good. I've been. I feel so weird not listening to music. I feel like. Kicked in the background. And then for highlight. See, I'm already done, girl. I could do this. That's only because I have my lash extensions. If I still had to do all that, girl, we would be here forever. So. It's a good mist. It's not like hella like water, but I don't mind that. I do like to get like sprayed with water. Like my fix plus so i bought the cover effects illuminating spray and tell me why you guys like i don't know i wanted to love it but i don't feel like it makes any difference to my skin like at all at all like so i'm using the emery z highlight let's see i just recently saw this like post on twitter how like people hate fan brushes but i don't know why i love them like i feel like my highlight comes out better oh wait i got a freaking brush for my nose highlight girl I'm not an Orange County girl, but move my jam.
to do with that. I never know how to do my hair. I just throw it up. Because it's just gross. Okay. So my karma dies. I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will insert well, my thumb will be a picture of me that I take today. If I even have time to. But um, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love y'all. Hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry if it was a little bit rushed. But we did it. We did it. We out here. Bye guys. I will talk to you guys all in my next one.